Welcome back. Daryl here with 205 Motorsports. I found my way up to North, well, let's call it North San Antonio. Yeah. And to uh, Holden Brothers Diesel Shop. So I'm familiar with them through uh, Off the Ranch and Demolition Ranch. But I uh, do a lot of cool diesel stuff. Projects in general. And uh, I'm going to let them kind of take it from here and show us around the shop. Let them talk about what they have going on. Hey guys, what's up? So welcome to our shop. We're down here in Bernie, Texas, uh, just north of San Antonio. And um, well, I guess uh, start by saying we build all kinds of stuff. Um, if you're familiar with Demolition Ranch or Off the Ranch stuff, we do a lot of work for Matt Carricker. And uh, we'll do a lot of work for a lot of folks, honestly. Um, a lot of custom work in the past few years. We started off as predominantly a diesel performance shop. Um, EPA has kind of squeezed that out where you've had to find other avenues to, if you're working on cars, to, you know, pay the bills and to, to have a good time. So we've, uh, we're working on, I mean, we got stuff from like 1920 to 2020. <laughs> yeah. um, do a lot of international work. Um, got an old flathead Jeep sitting here, um, doing a G56 swap on a first gen Cummins truck, um, LS swap and do a six passenger. A uh, Jeep that's for like a safari ranch that's just outside of town here. They do big game hunts and stuff like that. Um, right behind you actually is this uh, swept line. It's a 67 or 8 uh, W300, and that's getting a uh, built 12 valve, a 48 RE automatic, um, late model axles, disc brakes, updated suspension, um, all kinds of stuff. This is a pretty typical project for us. You know, we, we do a lot of that kind of stuff. Cummins swaps, we just got done building a 12 valve Suburban, like a 85 three quarter ton four wheel drive. Put um, a 12 valve in that 98 Dodge van. Yeah, we shoehorned a 12 valve Cummins into a, uh, a B series van, like a one late ton. 90s, early 2000s, one yeah. ton, like club wagon, if it was a Ford. I mean, it's like a 12 passenger van. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> It's a band van. There's quite a quite a bit of that we cover on our YouTube channel. If y'all go check out Holden Brothers Diesel, you'll 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 see there's quite a bit of content that's on there on on doing car stuff. But um, we work on a lot of vintage stuff. It, it's been guys been beating the doors down trying to get old cars worked on, and Stephen and I cut our teeth working on and learning to drive in uh, 50s and 60s internationals. And um, our family was uh, truck drivers, and they drove all 40s and 50s model needle nose Peterbilts and 60s model. Uh, Peter Biltz and Kenworths as well. So got quite a bit of time in old diesels and probably what segued us into doing performance diesel and uh, stuff like that. But at the same time, we do a lot of suspension, third, fourth, and fifth gen Cummins trucks. We're doing a gear set and a late model uh, power stroke and a Carly kit on that at the same time, airbags and, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Um, we've got some custom, uh, one of some of our personal vehicles sitting right here um, <clears throat> that are pretty neat. Long-term builds, like all oh, everything that we personally own, yeah, uh, it takes forever. It seems like it's never done. But this is a uh, a custom chassis from uh, Scott's Chassis. It's a uh, '54 Bel Air Sport Coupe, two-door no-post car. Um, it's got uh, I want to say '56 Buick yep. um, rear fenders. The tail lights into the tail lights was cut and graft onto it. Um, this is a mock-up motor, but it's got a 1200 horse LB7 Duramax that's going in it. Uh, double 10 mil CP3s, about a 350 over injector, WC VAB intake, HSP parts. It's on full air ride, sheet metal nine inch. It's got a spool in the back. Um, working on this car with muscle rod, um, fixing to start on the firewall stuff and the floor pans and all that. It's running a 48 RE. Uh, also called like a Duraflight conversion. For the time being anyway, that's the transmission that's going behind it. 345s all the way around, Willwood brakes, really nice car. It, it belongs to Steven, uh, pretty slick ride. A couple year project, obviously. I've got a 71 Scout 800B, pretty rare truck. It's the last of the small Scouts before they went to Scout 2. They only built them for like seven months. And it was a factory V8 pickup, top, air conditioned truck, um, pretty cool set up. I bought this from a local guy, been working on it for a long time. We actually used this truck to get the TV show that we did on Motor Trend. We used this thing, we built that truck in about what, four days? Yep. So it was a basket case truck, needed a paint job, rush repair, it was on factory suspension. Now it's four link triangulated in the back on a two fives. It's got a 3.0 swayaways in the front, high pinion 44, um, you know, half inch wall tubes, chromoly axles, three linked in the front. 
uh, running a 304 International with a 727 and a Model 20 T case. So that's one of my long-term projects. Uh, you can see that 68 Camaro poking out over there. That used to be a drag car. It's now got a uh, 383 small block in it. Um, Holly Terminator, uh, throttle body and uh, fuel management system. It's got a tank. full Hotchkiss suspension yeah, on it. Yeah, full Hotchkiss, T56 Magnum, uh, McLeod dual disc, um, mini tub. Mini tub. So that, that's kind of, you know, one version of it. And then like uh, the Ford I was talking about a second ago, that's got a full Carly kit on it. Uh, Deaver springs in the back, onboard air. It's getting a flatbed on it, custom paint, rhino line, all kinds of stuff, wheels and tires, et cetera, et cetera. Flatbed, yeah. um, winches, air and then we got the whole deal. You know, like this little Willis glass car, kind of a hoopty. It's in here just getting regular maintenance. We do a lot of that kind of stuff also. We've got a, uh, there's a six, seven truck up there that is a, uh, we just set, put a set of Waggler Street Fighter rods in. Um, that truck makes power, like <laughs> yeah. big time. Runs a single 480, set of 400 overs. Uh, dyno's consistently a thousand to the tire. And uh, it's gonna make more than that. At this point, we're gonna find out the limit of what of what that thing will take. So it's got a firing head from D&J, stage three, side draft. Waggler rods. Yeah. it's. For, built for our 100, um, it's it's pretty rowdy. So, kind of cover the gambit, you know, on uh, stuff you can work on. I've got uh, one of my latest projects I just got. It's just, you know, whenever you pulled in here, you probably saw there was a stack of internationals at the entrance, and we've both got several internationals. Steven's got a really cool 56. Um, S160. Yeah, I was going to say R, but it's an S160. Four-wheel drive. Two-ton, factory four-wheel drive Coming truck. swap. 12-off swap, MV4500, stuff like that. Uh, this is, uh, I'm into travel loss a lot. Steve and I have both had, had them before and gotten rid of some of them. And there's actually a white one poking out over there that uh, I traded for another one that's up in Oregon. We, we did this uh, big trip. We, we flew up to Oregon, tried to work on this. Uh, travel all and get it back home. It's like a 2,000 mile trip and the transmission popped in the driveway after five days of working on the thing. So we're actually going to fly up in October and drive that thing back across the country. Hadn't been on the road since 90, 91. 90, 91? Yeah. So fixing to do that. But anyway, that kind of inspired this truck. I found this in New Mexico. It's a uh, 392 uh, four speed truck on the floor, the deluxe interior truck, factory AC. Power and steering, power brakes. Yeah, it's got the, uh, yeah, all that kind of goody. We work uh, closely with a company called IH Parts America um, in uh, Grass Valley, California. Some really cool dudes, Jeff and Zade Ismail out there. Got their suspension kit. I think this might be the first half ton they've done a complete kit on, uh, travel all anyway. So we've kind of worked through, through a few things with them, but we've got their GM conversion springs on the front and the back. And uh, I've had it for about, I don't know, I guess about two months now, maybe three. Yeah. It sat for one of the months, but it's almost road legal. <clears throat> yeah, it hadn't ran in probably 15 years. Got all the lifters to free up, got it to charge, fixed all the lighting on it, put a lift on it, wheels and tires on it, got everything kind of rock and rolling on it. So this is kind of stuff that we typically do in our spare time. We try to work on old internationals. Steven just scored a sweet international tractor that I wish was here right yeah. now. Yeah, it's a 40, it. 45 B model farm all. And I got my red carpet at the house too. He's got a, which a is, Scout uh, 80. You know, rare little Scout 80. Yeah, uh, we got lots of internationals. So we yeah. really like international stuff. Anything old that, you know, points ignition, carburetor, you know, that stuff, we just, we eat it up. It's just too easy. We grew up messing with it. It's kind of, kind of funny actually. We got guys who pull in here and they're just looking for somebody to make it run. And it's, you know, a set of points and the carburetor just <laughs> away from running every time. And <laughs> to us, it's kind of silly because, yeah. You know, it's, uh, we grew up on it, but there's a lot of folks who shy away from that and don't work on it anymore. So for us, it's been fun to get back into, you know, in our roots of where we kind of started. We were just poor kids growing up. We never, never really had anything. Um, Still our, don't. Our parents, yeah, got a bunch of bills, <laughs> uh, not a lot of equity, you know. Um, but we've got a, got a nice shop. We finally bought a piece of property after a bunch of years and we built a shop. And uh, so, you know, we're, uh, Really grateful, honestly, to, to be where we're at. We just, uh, we started our whole shop, was in uh, living in a little single wide trailer house, a 700 square foot, early 70s trailer house uh, in comfort. Me and Willie were roommates with mice. Yeah, us and the mice. There was more of them than us. 
you know, sagging floors and rotten ceiling and all that kind of stuff. We both lost our jobs, lost our girlfriends, kind of went through this, you know, kind of a bad deal in uh, late 2010 and on into 2011. We finally started Holden Brothers, put an ad out in Craigslist, and we were working in the front yard under hand-me-down tarps that we were using old 4 by 4 posts leaned out to hold them off the side of a, a hay barn. Um, started small and just kind of built a customer base and we learned a lot as we as we went. There was some stuff we knew just from figuring it out and I think the rest of it we probably just figured out. Yeah. Never went to school for it. Nope. Uh, neither one of us went to college. Um, Barely graduated high school. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> I actually dropped out of high school. But uh, we we were in a bunch of trouble and stuff like that and didn't have two nickels to rub together so it was you know had to figure something out so we just kind of leaned on each other and over the course of now 13 or 14 years in business we've gotten to where we've got uh, several acres here on the interstate and a nice facility and the shop is heated and ac'd and we've got good customers and folks like y'all to watch our youtube channel and check the tv show out and all that kind of stuff we've got a lot of support and now we're you know, doing stuff for 205 Motorsports. You know, this is yeah. just kind of cool, man, to be yeah. approached and, you know, have people seeking you out and seeing what you're doing and, and being recognized for it. It's kind of uh, crazy, honestly, to, uh, you know, keep doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I appreciate y'all letting me come out and do this for y'all. Yeah. Uh, I think that will wrap things up. So I'll have links down below to their channel. Definitely check out their content. Uh, I'll have heck. I'll go ahead and link uh, Matt's channel because y'all have uh, y'all's work on his channel. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit. We actually yeah. just finished up his ranch tank. Yeah, it'll be in Indiana this weekend. Hopefully, yeah. wins the burnout contest. Y'all go check that out. That thing's pretty wild. It's compound turbo, interstage, intercooled. It's uh, pretty rowdy. Yeah, pretty rowdy for a six liter power stroke. It's it's cool. I, I'm not a huge six O guy, but I would have something like <coughs> any day of the week. Um, and we, we've got an Instagram and stuff like that, too, at Holden underscore bros, at Holden Bros Diesel. We try to stay up and up on that. Try to Facebook post stuff, page. yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'd be, we'd be glad to, you know, anybody who wants to come join along and check it out. Certainly appreciate your support. And uh, thank you for your time today, man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all. Yes, sir. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right. Well, do it for today. Until next time, I'm out of here.